Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It's what medical professionals call delayed disclosure. We get people who come in decades after the abuse has occurred. Something prompts them to come forward. Something prompts them to tell somebody. Marissa Uggen is the program manager at Healing Hearts Crisis Center, Guam's only rape crisis center since 1993. In light of recent accusations made against Archbishop Anthony Aperon, she says victims will often wait before reporting, especially because Guam is such a small island community. A lot of times these children are abused by somebody in power or somebody that they love and trust. Um, they understand the complexities, even as children, even as young as, you know, 10 and 12 years old. They understand certain things like, if I come forward, people might not believe me. Um, sometimes they're told explicitly that nobody's going to believe them. This appears to be the case for most of Aperon's accusers, Roy Quintanita, Walter Denton, and Roland Sundia. They are joined by Doris Conception, whose son, Joseph Sonny Kanata, was on his deathbed over a decade ago when he confided in his mother that he too was a victim. Each of the surviving victims reported trusting Aperon, who was a priest at Mount Carmel Church in Agate at the time of the alleged incidents. Each of the men has expressed no interest in prosecuting Aperon, but instead have demanded he step down as head of the Aganyar diocese as well as make a public apology. Most adult survivors of child sexual abuse are not looking for that. They're not looking to put the perpetrator in jail. They're not looking to seek restitution. They're not doing this for the perpetrator. They're doing this for themselves. They're doing this for their own healing. They're doing this for their own closure. It's about them. And it's never too late to start healing. Disclosure is not an event. It's a process. It's a process that starts when the incident occurs and then continues um, for when the child has to go through the mental processes of trying to question themselves, why did this happen to me, is any of this my fault, who's going to believe me, who can I turn to. Healing Heart services up to 150 victims per year, a majority of who are minors and female. While that sounds like a big number, national statistics report up to 80 percent of sexual assault and abuse cases go unreported. For more information on Healing Hearts and the services they provide, you can call 647-5351. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.